Well, hello, church family. It's Pastor Craig here. I just thought that I would uh, greet you by video this week rather than uh, in our writing on e-news because there's a, a few things that I wanted to talk to you about. The first is our Heart for His House service this Sunday. And of course, our miracle offering is happening. This is one time in the year where we take up an offering for the future of our church. And we're believing for a new church home. And uh, I, I know these last three weeks we've been praying, we've been fasting, we've been seeking God, and now is the time for you to give. And so if you're ready, I want to encourage you, don't wait for Sunday. Why don't you start to, uh, you know, give those offerings straight into the land and, and building fund. You can do that by EFT or you can do it through the Tithely app. And I just want to thank you in advance for you being obedient to what God is calling you to do. The other thing that we're asking for our heart for his house service is that uh, you would um, submit to us a short video just simply answering the question, why I love my church. And uh, it doesn't have to be long, 10, 15, uh, you know, 10, 15, 30 seconds is, is all good. But if you would do that, you can do that as an individual, you can do that as a family, that would be really awesome. We need those by tonight. Uh, and I, I thank you in advance for that. The last thing today that I want to talk to you is, a, is, is it's so wonderful that restrictions are changing from this Friday. And of course, from this Friday, we can have up to 10 visitors per day to our homes. How long has it been since you've been able to have someone over? And of course, this changes things for our Sunday service, for our in-church at home service, because now you can invite people to do church with you in your home. And so I just want to remind you of some keys that we really feel that God has given us for this concept of home church. And they are simply these, um, welcome people really well. Uh, I, you know, we, we want to make people feel at home when they come into our homes. I want to encourage you to do the scary thing and perhaps invite people who are not part of our church community yet, maybe don't know Jesus. I just think it's really important that we reach out to our neighbours and our friends, um, uh, those in our sphere of influence. The other thing that I'd say too, it's always a good idea to watch church, if you can, on your TV. Now, you can usually hook up a HDMI cable from your laptop uh, to the TV, so you can watch uh, on Facebook. Um, you can also, uh, some, some smart TVs, have Facebook there or have YouTube there. It's, it's really good to be able to watch on a bigger screen. I'd also encourage you to stand up for worship. Uh, don't just be passive. You know, you're not watching a movie. Um, you're not watching your favourite TV show. This is church. And so I know in our household, like every Sunday, all through these, you know, this last 20 months of lockdowns, where we've been locked down in our church, we've not been locked down in our home. We've been standing up and we've been praying and worshipping God, particularly in those times of worship. I also think it's a really good thing to practice hospitality and have food available. You know, I think it's a great idea, perhaps um, scheduling your time to have uh, maybe breakfast beforehand and then watch the service or invite people for the service and then have lunch, or if you're really keen, do both. In the midst of that, don't forget about the kids. Like every Sunday, Pastor Chris has Imaginations Kids on Zoom, our Inc. Uh, kids Church. It's at 9.30, so when you're inviting, and, and you're inviting uh, others who've got uh, primary age or younger kids, I just want to encourage you, hey, Make sure you've scheduled the time so the kids can participate in kids' church. And then during the service, encourage the kids to worship and encourage the kids to be a part of our service. The other thing that I would say to you is when the service is over, like when, when we come to the end of it, don't just sort of switch it off and go on with the next thing. 
but I want to encourage you to pray together. Jesus said that when two or three gather in his name, he's in the midst. Well, now you can have your family, whoever lives in your household, plus 10 others. So Jesus is there in the midst. Let's pray. Let's believe. Let's pray for one another. Let's release spiritual gifts. Let's pray for healing. Let's pray for encouragement over one another. And of course, the last thing is let's do it all COVID safe. So let's keep uh, uh, up to date with what the current restrictions are. Things are going to continue to change uh, over the next few months. And, uh, and we just need to keep up to date with that. But it is a wonderful thing that we can now have in church at home with other people. And I think this is going to be the standard for us for some time to come. And so I just want to encourage you, you know, you might start meeting with the same group each week. You might have different people coming in and out of your home each week. You know, all of that's up to you, but we want to encourage our church to be vibrant. And it's so much better when we're able to meet with others. Well, God bless you. I hope uh, the rest of your week goes really well. We cannot wait to see you online this Sunday at 10 a.m. for our Heart for His House service. Well, God bless you. We'll talk again real soon.